cannot believe you. Hi David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. Alright mate, Dave here. Listen, now uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got... ...a bit caught up, so uh, you're gonna have to run the news tonight. Now don't worry, it's not hard and I'm gonna stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio and you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Oh, that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. So we've got a few seconds. I suppose I ought to warn you that tonight is, as I'm sure you know, election night, which means if we make any mistakes, by which I mean if you make any mistakes, we're getting fired. So stay on your toes, mate. You should be getting the signal any second now. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, Corona mayonnaise? Mm. You know CV makes me go out in postures. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. Tower show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going oh. five, four. Oh, but now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsley's wins Sports Personality of the Year and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Button That's two in three, two, bit early there, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for the advance. The landslide. Listen, mate, we often get a bit of interference around this time of night, so keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. You can move that white dot up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob or your scroll wheel. Of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. 
Okay, right. it's going well. Come All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. We'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. I oh. thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. He doesn't remember anything I tell him. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Me too. Yeah. to the National Nightly News. To Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners Later, advance. But first, our ready to go to Megan on screen four. Megan Wolf is here with a star on both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf. Get on screen four. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you. That being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right now, just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yes. Well, as I said to Peter well, at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter. What a wild ride this has been. What a wild and you know what, ride Megan? this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely Was that a challenge a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. But it was a complete yes, departure right. from my last starring role when I played Sergeant role. Brock Rockman in Sergeant Bullet Man. Rockman You'll remember that that was the true story of one that. soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. A love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Mm. That's a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will Cut. bleed. And, and often, will bleed. that's how it feels, often. doesn't it? That's how it feels. doesn't it? Doesn't Bleeding, doesn't it? Giving, Bleeding. suffering Giving. for one's audience. Suffering for one's Been on that show a bit long. End, I do it for the difference. I suppose know. in the end, I do it. I do Remember it the, the ten-second rule. The little people. 
But most of all, I think I do it for the positive most change all, that I, I can bring I about in the world. And today, of course, uh, we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, Audience is getting bored, mate. It's always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to strive not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh well, don't worry, he won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Watch out for that interference, mate. I don't understand. Doctor. I don't understand it. Cool, oh, looks like Blunder Clatch is losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but don't switch to it now. You can go to the archive when the broadcast's done. We keep everything. I don't know that. I don't know that. No, Lance, we mustn't. Dr. Lance, to you, Miss Flanagan! <laughs> Did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock! We're gonna change the world, you know? Don't let listen to you. Dr. Hemlock! You told me, Dr. but I didn't listen. Doctor! I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late! Look at this! Got it. Exploring Bombly, you can relax in comfort in one of two communal tents. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Isn't it time you're back? Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard. One to four. Running the country. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters. I'm told we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about, are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. 
Oh, oh, shit, for it, Pat. Okay. Thank you all for coming. And, well, thank you all for coming. Where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people, you saw right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of Sorry about that. That makes me coarser than the grand is funny. Coarser than the grand is put. Uh, but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Honest, who can blame Peter Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that Throughout advance campaign, are not a political party. A, a party is what you have party. when things are going well. What you have when when the country is well. suffering, you don't need a party. Suffering, you need a need team. A, a team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's the over. Rich. They shouldn't for be them, celebrating. The over. They, shouldn't they should be, be putting their shit in pants on and opening their dusty checkbook. Again, colourfully put, Again, but, colorfully not put. But, but not inaccurate. But not inaccurate. Before we came out here to address the nation, we, we used our executive powers nation, to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have reduced the makes it up a bit, eh? every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this. So I probably you, you, you rather you don't. This, so I because you, the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated community. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer unavoidable Simple, set fair, of tax laws. So all you bastard public so school snobs have got nowhere to hide. I've got and nowhere to today, hide. We revoke today, your passport. We revoke you your passport. Back. You want them back? You want to leave back. like you threatened before the election? Like threatened threatened before the election. First, first fine. The first fine. You're going to pay first, up. You're, you're going to pay back. back. Advance are going to turn this country from Advance a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shots. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve you drinks in their private clubs. The people whose children you raise. The so they've got time to get raise. even so fucking richer. Advance even. have this to say to you. Advance it ends to say today. To you. We it are coming for your today. sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth today. of this country back we where it should have always been. In the, in the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, today. we'll start making and it fair again. We'll start making Just it like fair we again. promised we would. Just and until like then, ladies and gents, and until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Well, an interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leader. Interesting well, acceptance speech and there. And our apologies for the well, fruity language. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully we've got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. If not, Someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for so, new government, as the country that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll, be back, the we'll, be, back we'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under the full coverage the first day. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful Right, I'm looks like you've got it now. Job, Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Boring politics, then. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now? Sign up now. Wish we so lucky. Week, we'll you I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink. No, got a date. Try not to get murdered. Collection week by week, and very soon.
Okay, on the left you can see all the broadcasts that you've done. You can also get to hear from the main menu if you don't actually want to do a broadcast, you just want to see some of your past work. Select any of those and click load tape. Why not watch what you just did? When you're done, hit back. Well, in a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's National Nightly News. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's the semi Right, click on rushes and let's have a look at those. Okay, these four screens, they're exactly the same as the four screens that feed you the studio signal when you're doing the actual news. Of course, the difference here is you can mute any screen you like or any combination of screens and you can have a listen to what was going on behind the scenes. Just select any segment, that's any bit between ad breaks over on the left, and hit play. When you're done checking out the backstage secrets, hit back. Pa, pa, Pouring a mayonnaise? Mm. You don't see if you make me go out in pastures. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Pa. Going five, four.
Thank mm -hmm. you.